Okay, so this is the second time I'm doing this video. This is the third time I'm doing this video. Recently closed. This is what... Come on, internet. So this is what has been stopping the sound playback on my friggin' DaVinci Resolve 14 Beta Studio, whatever. So this is the app that's been in hibernation this piece of shit here has been in hibernation behind everything this is like the second kind of interface thing for audio so when you when you build a pc or when you build got get a brand new laptop your laptop comes with the microsoft standard real tech or real talk or whatever it is interface for the um thingy I just deleted this and now I don't have zero lag. I'm going to play some shit to you right now. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I went off on... Um, I didn't really go off on Black Magic. I emailed them stating my issues. But I should have known it was my laptop. It's not It's not Black Magic. It's my laptop. Because my computer it works. I built my computer myself and it works perfectly on there. And that's why I was quite upset that I couldn't bring it onto my laptop because I'm leaving the country in a few days and I need to be able to function and whatever. So I'm thinking it's my laptop. I went and bought 16... Is it 30? I went and bought 32 DDR gig because I thought it was my RAM, yeah? This is how... This is what it says because I took this from my actual computer where it was working properly you know um this is the best system i've ever worked on like look if i just press play now it might have a bit of be no it might have lag because i'm recording or whatever but and I, I i got i had to wait a few minutes for sound to come into my timeline yeah it always worked in the media thing where you watch in the media and whatever it always worked in that but for some reason on the timeline it never worked now if I go into this fair lighting, it when I press play, this 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 whatever they call it, I don't know what they call that cursor, or whatever they that never moved and no sound came from here. Now if I press it, so I get a bit of lag. Obviously, I say again because I'm recording on the, on high quality on this whatever this other and this one takes up at least two two gigs on my um. 8 gig DDR, is it tall? No, oh, 8 gig um, graphics card. So yeah, this takes up about 2 gigs, that, that software. So this this is prior, well, it's, it's supposed to take up 8, the full 8, but this takes up 2, so this is a bit laggy. So this normally plays a bit more smooth than that. So I get, at the end of the day, I get no issues now. I have zero issues at this time. I mean, I've got effects on and everything. I'm pretty sure if I was to, like probably turn off effects... I think it's what control is it control alt d so that's the so yeah that's without effects on it so i get a little bit of lag clearly because this is on and whatever but i have no issues other than that so there's me going to black magic kind of not bitching or anything like that but at the same time i believe that it's my laptop it's not black magic it's it's not the performance of my laptop it was a stupid app like i'd say it was this piece of crap here naham nahimic or nahimic or whatever nahimic or whatever you want to call it that comes with the msi system so like the msi system i have is this dragon center thing and inside of the dragon center let me delete whatever's in there yeah whatever's in this dra dragon center thing is like additional apps that are going to just slow down your computer so I, I would say if you've just got a gaming app go into all that crap if you don't need enhanced sound other than the sound that's actually on your computer already set up from the from the factory just delete all that crap because it's just going to interfere with all the things that, that DaVinci Resolve wants to do. Remember, DaVinci Resolve was designed without this nonsense in mind. And I don't think they should ever design it with all this in mind because you you can't have your cake and eat it. Like, if you want a sick software for free, because I did get it for free, even the full version, I got the full version free because I have the actual key 
for the DaVinci Resolve 12 and for some reason it worked with the studio better. So I I can't I can't say well you gotta work with the computer I got because everyone's individuals, you know, someone might buy this computer and delete everything off it immediately and just keep it with the specs and some standard looking or whatever. They don't want it to be enhanced as much as you know, as as some people, but I believe that Black Magic apologies from me for one because I did go kind of go off on you in the email, but at the same time I didn't really go off. I just stated my issues and you know my frustrations because I'm leaving the country and I need to be doing things on the road. And now I can because I deleted one stupid little app that wasn't even 64 megabytes. Could you imagine that? 64 megabytes was costing me my experience for. DaVinci Resolve 14 Studio Better. So apologies to Blackmagic. And at the end of the day, um, MSI needs to just stop putting all these nonsense. Because you go in there and half of the things that are, are in there don't work anymore. Because it, I have to sign up to update. And I, I'm not really a gamer like that. I just bought this laptop because of the specs. So that laptop cost me £1,700. Which is better than... This moves better than any Mac... A laptop I've ever bought. I bought a 15 inch MacBook Pro and it never works like this. This is a 1080p version of this laptop as well. You can get the 4K version, but I thought that was too, that was excessive. This is a 17 inch, 17 17.3 inch monitor as well, which allows me to see what I want to see. Do you understand? And like, if, even if I do get a bit of lag on the, my DaVinci Resolve, I could just control, was it uh, Alt D, turn off the effects. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure it should be back on again. But is it control? Is it control? Oh, F or is it Alt D? Where is it? I don't know how to do it, but maybe it is Alt D, but in natural. Yeah. So I can put on my effects after. I don't need it. I can just line it all up, check it all out after, and then just put my effects back on. So I'm not fussy. I'm on the road. I can edit 4K. I'm not I'm not that pissed off. If I was to buy a Mac now, oof, to, to edit 4K on a Mac, like, no. It's not going to be that great. But yeah, this works for me. I've seen other people going into their sound, um, whatever they call it, uh, playback device properties and whatever. You go into there and you do all the properties nonsense and then you go into enhance and then you play with this nonsense here. I never had no results playing with this. So I put it back to what it was when I first set this computer up. I knew this was a sound setup I worked with because I use um, Cubase is my Cubase here, Cubase 9 Pro, whatever. So I use Cubase 9 Pro and, it, and that's what I recorded on the Cubase 9 Pro and that's what my mic records in as well. So... It's not black magic, it's your laptop or your computer. So check for any sort of whatever. They say they are oh, this uh, DaVinci Resolve's buggy. Some It's not uh, It's not DaVinci Resolve. They make it the way they make it, but they make it without your specific specs of computer in mind. Do you understand? They just work with basic specs in it. Like how, how your RAM, your your they tell you what RAM or what um, graphics card is basic and what uh, CPU and whatever. But... <clears throat> or whatever they call it, the processor. But the rest is up to you, you know. Your computer's full of shit. You're going to get shit. Do you understand? I'm sorry for the swearing, but I was frustrated before. Now I'm over the moon, so I, I feel like saying what I want to say. But apologies to Black Magic once again, and I'm, I'm out. I'm, I'm out. Don't subscribe, please, because I don't care about subscribers. And, yeah, just... I, I do a lot of um, different things, so you probably wouldn't want to subscribe anyway. So, see you later.